Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The fourth one is realized yield method. But uh, before to explain it, first of all, let me read the content, then we'll discuss it. When future dividend and market price are uncertain. See the point? When future dividend and market price are uncertain, it is very difficult to estimate the rate of return on the investment. In order to overcome this difficulty, the average rate of return actually realized in the past few years by the investor is used to determine the cost of capital. See this point. When future is uncertain, it means there is too much uncertainty in the market. Market price is uncertain, dividend of the company is uncertain, it means you cannot expect the dividend as well as you cannot expect the market price. If you cannot expect the market price, can you apply the first method or second method? If there is, for example, if dividend is uncertain, can you apply the methods? No. If, the, if, you, if it is not clear that how much is the dividend, how much is the growth, how much is the market price, can you make an estimation that how much will be the cost of equity? No. Definitely, you cannot find out the cost of equity. So now, so now the question is that if it is uncertain and you cannot, for example, estimate the cost and so on, how can you find out the cost of equity? In this case, we have to refer to the past. We have to refer to the past performance of the share. We have to see how much was the cost of equity in the past few years. For example, if you want to find out, for example, let us say, you want to find out the cost of equity, for example, for 2020, right? If future is uncertain, you cannot do it. Of course, you have to see how much was the cost of equity for 2017, how much was the cost for 2018, and how much was the cost for 2000, for example, 19, and so on. You usually take the average of three years. For example, for this year, the cost was equal to 10, for example. For this year, the cost was, for example, 20. And for this year, for example, the cost was equal to how many percentage? 30 percentage. How to find out the cost for 2020? You have to take the average of all. How to take the average? 10 plus 20 become 30. 30 plus 30 become equal to how much? 60. Right? Become 60. 60 divided by number of years. Year 1, year 2, 3. So it is the summation of how many years? 3 years. Divided by number of years. You get equal to, for example, how much? 20%. On an average basis, the cost of capital will be equal to, for example, 20%. Right? Although basically it is not the cost of capital will not be like 10, 20, and 30, right? There will be a little bit change. For example, one year it will be hello one. Next year, for example, it will be 10.5. Next year, for example, it will be 12.5, for example. Now you take the sum of all. For example, hello one plus this one. Hello one plus hello one become 22. 22 become, become 34, right? For example, 34 divided by 3, right? So it becomes hello one point something. So this one can be considered as cost of equity. This is called realized yield method. Take the average rate of a few, few past years. So usually we take, for example, two or three or four years. So that can be called a realized yield 